Good morning. Happy Saturday. Hope everybody's doing good today. Today we are going to be playing with the True Beauty stamp set and the Organic Beauty matching dies. Um, I picked this set because I actually wanted to mimic the planner that is available when you sign up to become a demonstrator. You could be a business builder or you could use the sign up as good morning, sign up as a um, program to buy your supplies cheaper. You get a 20% discount as a demonstrator. So you can use it like a Costco card, actually. And that is what I decided to do. So we're going to use Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Knight of Navy, and Pear Pizzazz. Those are the colors I chose. And I forgot to check. I do not think this ribbon is available anymore. But I pulled it out of my stash because I wanted to match the Calypso Coral cardstock that I'm going to use. And in mid-flight, of course, I decided to change. I was going to create the card this way, but I'm going to change the orientation to landscape. And we're using basic white and some Calypso Coral. Okay, so let's get started. Hope everybody's doing good. It's crazy here. We had a rough night. I haven't even been, I haven't even opened the door yet, so I don't even know what the temperature is out there. Hey, Sheila. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Hi, Karen. So, let me just pull out a sheet of scrap paper. And I have, like I said, I have an 11 by four and a quarter card base and I scored it at five and a half. So we'll just fold that up and put it aside. And I do want to just measure this again when I get a chance. And then I have a layer of basic white and it's just five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And then a basic white five and a quarter by four. And this is what we're going to use first. And I am going to pull this stamp right here. And that'll be the first flower that I stamp. And I'm going to use Calypso Coral. Whoops. And because this is a distinctive type stamp, just clean that off a little bit, I am going to grab my spoon and I'm just going to pull back some of the color on the ink pad. I don't want all that juicy ink on the ink pad. And then I'm going to ink up. Make sure it has a nice amount of ink. And then I'm going to start in this corner right here. And I'm just going to eyeball it. And I'm just going to stamp this flower right on this corner. And this is why I used the scrap paper. Because I knew it was going to come off the edges. And then I'm just going to mirror that or mimic it on this side. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So we have our two flowers in Calypso Coral. We can put that stamp set aside. Just going to get the extra ink off of that. Okay. So there is the start. Hey, do. That's okay, honey. That's the start of our the front of our card. The next thing I did was I took a piece of 
post-it paper. It has the stickiness up here at the top. And this flower, I actually stamped again on this post-it paper with some of the stickiness up here at the top. And I am going to mask this flower. Now, because you're going to be stamping on an additional layer, when you mask, you just want to pull it down just a little bit because you're going to get a white space if you don't. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. I have a sample. So I'm just going to lay that down. I want to see part of the flower. This part here, I actually laid the post-it note down right on the edge of this flower, stamped the Knight of Navy, and you'll see that there's a ridge around that flower. I want this flower to look like it's behind that flower. So on this side, I changed it up just a little bit. I pulled the mask down. So now it looks like the flower is more behind than it is right next to it. So I just want to leave a bit of a ridge. And I all I did was fussy cut this. You actually can use the die that matches that stamp if you want. And I'm going to pull out my Knight of Navy. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pull that ink down. I don't want lots of ink on that ink pad. And we're going to ink up this stamp. And I am going to stamp this flower right over top. just like that. So when I pull this off, can you see how it looks like it's more behind this flower? So I'm going to use the same exact mask and I'm going to match it up leaving some space. Oops. Make sure it's down ink up and I'm going to stamp again and we can take our mask off so now we have our flowers on the front oh no your night of navy exploded hello Kathleen okay so there we have our two flowers Next, I'm going to grab in, grab the leaves and my pear pizzazz. I'm going to actually grab that spoon. I'm going to pull that ink down again. And I'm going to ink up the leaves. And I'm not even going to mask. I am just going to stamp half the leaf because it is a double leaf here. And then I'm going to ink it up again. I'm going to put another leaf down here. Ink it up again. Let's put one here. And ink it up again. And we'll add another one up here. Okay. So now we have the front of our card stamped. All right. Hey, Margaret, how are you? Really, the Knight of Navy exploded also. It must be 
it must have been overfilled, I would think. That's crazy. I haven't had anything um, explode on me lately. Okay, so here is our layout. And then I cut a piece of Calypso coral, and this is two by four. And then I have a basic white that is one and seven eighths, one and seven eighths by four. So it's going to just layer just like this. So let's put that aside for a second. We're going to grab our basic white piece. And I guess I should pull my scrap paper back in. And I'm going to use the sentiment here for you always. And I'm going to pull in the Knight of Navy again. And I'm just going to check to make sure. Let me see if this is on straight. No, it isn't. It's off a little bit. It's a little bit off. So let me just put this down. I want to make sure I get it on here straight. Isn't that crazy? I have, there's a line on here and it is not straight. All right, I think that's good. Craziness. See how it's leaning to the right? All right, we're gonna do this a different way. I'm gonna make sure it's on my block straight instead of watching that line. even with the sticker on it, right? So now I have it with the block and it's still off. Crazy. All right, that looks better. All right, so let's ink up. Woo. And I'm going to use, hopefully it's, the block is straight. And we're just going to leave that right at the top. Oh, we're hanging in there, Margaret. Bill hasn't really been feeling well. So, all right. So here is our sentiment. I'm going to grab, that's not the right seal. I opened one up, and where did I throw it? Hmm. Oh, it's right here in front of my face. So we're just going to put this down with seal because I don't like the way it looks when you put the glue. And we're gonna line this up right at the edge. Just like that. Uh, the sentiment is a little bit off. All right, then we can pull in our card front again. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop this up onto the front of the card. And let's see. A pair of scissors and we'll cut this up. It feels like it's pretty warm out there today. Like I said, haven't even stuck my head out yet. Yeah, it does look like a good design for DSP. Definitely the colors are bold. All right. 
So now we want to get this on the center of the card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my glue and I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. I know it's crazy. Spread some glue on these dimensionals. It'll give me a little chance to make sure this gets on the front of the card straight and right at the edge. So I'm going to just stand it up and eyeball it. And I think that may be good. Because I want it right at the edge. And it'll just give me a chance to look and push it down. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, I just added some glue to the gl dimensional after taking the paper off. Uh, the set I am using is True Beauty, and I am trying to mimic the colors of the new planner. Okay. All right. So now that that is on, I took this flower here, and I, let's see, do I have a strip? Yes, I do. So we're going to grab some Coastal Cabana. And I, I already um, pushed the ink on this one. So we're just going to stamp this flower just like that. And close that up. We can grab some pear pizzazz. And we're going to grab the stem with the leaves and ink that up. And we can stamp that. And then, of course, we would grab our dies and lay them out on our images. We have a die for each one. This one, you're just going to have to Maneuver around until you get it just right. Okay. Run it through your cut and emboss machine. And then you'll have your flower and your stem. And then I took this additional die and actually die cut two of these in Old Olive. Just to change up on the pear pizzazz. Give a little bit of variety of color, shadows and highlights. And we can pull in our card again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this leaf and we're going to fill in some of this white space. And we're going to glue it down. I want to put a ribbon on. So I want to get this stem pretty well in the center. And it's going to be over the ledge a little. So we'll trim it up. But we're going to actually just glue this one down. So we're just going to eyeball it, see where we want this. And that looks pretty good. We'll let that dry for a couple minutes. Then we're going to grab our flower. And there they are, my scissors. Let's cut some more dimensionals. Flip our flower. So I guess you're going to have to uh, enjoy today, Margaret, because 90 is pretty warm.
and just pull these off. Ah, there's some gold. And let's see how we want this flower. Let's put it this way. And we're going to just pop this up right on the front. Let's grab some ribbon. My other pair of scissors. And we can quick make a little bow. I've been, I haven't, like I said, we went out yesterday. Um, today I'm trying to play catch up. So that's what I've been doing all morning, playing catch up. Bill's sleeping, so I get a lot done when he's sleeping. Or at least he was. I don't hear the TV anymore, so he may have gone to bed. He was sleeping in his chair. All right, so we got a nice little bow. Let's trim these tails. And grab a glue dot. And we're just going to put this bow right on the stem of this flower. Puff it up a little bit. And grab our scissors and we want to cut the end of that stem. Okay, now let's grab these little cutouts that we did and let's add some glue. I'm not going to add it to the top and we're just going to take this and tuck it under. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Just adding a little bit of glue to the bottom here. Now you got to remember those dimensionals are under there. So you want to try to avoid them. And let's see if I can't get this under there. And I got it tucked on top here, just giving it a little bit of dimension without using dimensionals. And then now we can pull in our card base and our mat layer. So let's do it this way. We'll grab our seal. I'm going to add the seal to this mat layer and grab our card and layer it right on to this mat. Want to make sure that it's on here evenly. And then we can pull in our card and I can glue this one down now. So we're just going to add some glue. Center this on the front of the card. And then let's see what I do. Grab the inside pieces. Now, while I have this here, I can, let's add a little bling. We'll just grab some Champagne, whoops, that went flying. Champagne rhinestones. I know, this really isn't a simple card, is it? I get carried away. So there is the front of our card. But it is just simple. I know we can change this up a little, and I will for tomorrow, to make it a little stepped up 
All right, so let's do the inside of this card. We'll do the same thing with those flowers, but we'll put them across the bottom. So let's grab the Calypso Coral. We're going to need our mask again. Oh, maybe not. And let's see if I need to push that back. Nope. So we're going to put our Calypso Coral Flower right in the center. We can switch this up a little. We'll pull in our pear pizzazz. And we'll put our mask here. And ink up our leaves. We'll put one there. Shift it over. And then one here. Whoops, look, see, I messed it up there. All right, and I think we'll just leave it with that flower. And we'll get our seal and layer this down. That stupid thing. I always get nervous when I'm using basic white because I get ink all over the place. Never fails. Oops. Extra pieces. Already ready for tomorrow's card. All right. So let's open this baby up. And lay this on the inside of our card. Scoot it up a little bit. And there we go. So it is just a few stamped flowers, a couple cutouts, and you have a here for you always card. Just very, very <laughs> simple. Well, I'm in good company then, Margaret. Thanks, Elizabeth. So there you go. So here is our simple Saturday card. Doesn't look very simple, but it actually was <coughs> watching it being prepared. And I'll step it up for tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day and think of me as I am cutting lots of cardstock today. You're so welcome. So I'll talk to you soon and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks for joining me, ladies. Bye-bye. Thanks, Sheila. You too, honey. Bye-bye.